Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to create random PWM, which is pulse field modulation signal with a fixed duty cycle instrument. And we will be using MATLAB 23A for that. So let's begin. I will create a new simulink model. It may take a while to load the simulink library, so we may have to wait. Uh, anyway, so it has come up now. So I will just first save this file. Probably random PWR, PWM signal. You can name this model anything, it doesn't matter. Uh, once it's, yeah, now we can start. So, first and foremost, I will put a random number generator. So, that is basically, yeah, a random signal which it will generate. And probably I can put a scope also to see how the data comes over here. So, this is scope. Okay, let me first connect it over here and also I'll open it. I think I can do it in parallel on both. So a scope can be on the right hand side, yeah, like this. And first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll just change the number of inputs probably to two and also to layout to two because one of the uh, input will be directly input of the low input of my random number and the second will be the of the PWM. Perfect. So on the first, you can see the random number is getting generated a random signal and we in the second right now of course we are not given any input so let's finish that part where we, we will convert this into a pwm signal of a uh, fixed uh, duty cycle so first and foremost i'll need is definitely a switch block which will convert my signal uh, into zero or one so based on my conditions so I think first what I'll need is two constant block. One will be one and other one will be zero. So this one could be zero. Yeah, so when the condition is false, that time it should give the output as zero. However, when the condition is true, it should give the output as one. And what will be the condition? So for condition, okay, let me expand it a little bit more so that I get some more space in between. And my condition will be definitely this. So let me rerun and see how it behaves. So I can get a PWM when, where, wherever my input signal is greater than zero. However, the duty cycle is not fixed right now. So let's see how we can make it as a fixed cycle. So for that, we'll use a delay block and yeah, delay. And the length of this delay right now is minus two. So if I go inside, Based on the length of this delay, it will be the, that much will be the duty cycle. Say, for example, if I put it three, so that much will be the delay, the uh, duty cycle. Uh, yeah, for my this PWM, and this input of this will be from the output of this uh, final output. And what I can do it is here, I can put a probably a minus block, and this minus block. Okay, I think I need to remove it like this. Uh, yeah yes so in this logic what i'm doing is after say for example whatever duty cycle we choose here we have chosen say for example three duty cycle a uh, duty cycle of uh, period three so after three it will force the output to be zero uh, over here because this loop will complete so let's see how it will still yeah so none of no if you are noticing none of the uh, our uh, this signal will be more than a size of 3 because it will anyway force it to become 0. However, it is still not fixed. Somewhere it's 3, somewhere it's 1, somewhere it's 2. So, how to do that? So, we may need another block which will be an addition block. And what we'll do is we will again remove this probably. And yeah, we'll use this addition block. One of the input will be of course this. However, the other input for this block will be no okay uh, this but we can put some kind of gain over here a gain block i can choose yeah and again i will first reverse it gain block and input of this gain block will be the output definitely whatever we are getting here and it will go over here now what will, what will be the value of this gain block that we can determine so I'll first i'll show you something if you notice from this plot the random number is between 
somewhere around minus 2, 2.5 to uh, plus 2.5. Also, if you open this, you can see the mean is 0 and the variance is 1. So, with variance of 1, max to max the value can fluctuate between minus 3 and plus 3. So, that's why the value of this will be somewhere around that value. So, that's why we are putting the value 3 over here for the gain block and adding it over here to the input signal. So, why we are adding over here the logic goes this way that say for example for that duration for this uh, time period when uh, when this is around 1 even if this value goes negative uh, minus 3 or something like that however the output of this will be uh, positive which will be greater than 0 and this will make sure that my output the PWM output is 1 at least for this many period. However, after 3 time period, since this will become 0 uh, because 1 minus 1 will be 0 and this will be the output. So, 0 multiplied by 3 will be 0 and then the actual output from here will pass on. Perfect. So, of course, I am simulating it again and if I can see all my PWM signal is of same width which is of course around 3 time period and based on the random number output. We can also quickly test it because it's a little hard to understand here because of the uh, uh, small uh, time period. So I'll do one thing. I'll change this to probably fixed uh, step so that it's much more easier for us to comprehend and make it as a of one time uh, uh, period. This fixed step. Click OK. Also, most likely what I will have to do is I'll have to change the sample time here also to one to uh, align with my fixed step. If I, okay, I think this 5 is very less, probably I'll do one thing, I'll make it for 20 and see what happens. Perfect. So if you notice here, all my PWM signals are for at least 3 time periods. So it starts from 0 till 3, then it starts from 6 till 9, 12 till uh, whatever, 15, 19 till, of course, if we go longer, it will be for 3 time period. Yeah, so in fixed step size, it is more uh, clear uh, and uh, uh, visible and uh, yeah but the concept is very easy uh, to create a pwm signal we have to of course use this switch block and this random number generator and if you want to fix the uh, size of pwm for this random number we have to enforce we have to force it force the output to be uh, one for the delay whatever delay we want we can quickly change this delay to say for example two and see this will be the same and if I run, so if you see, all are of around two time period. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, signals. Yeah. So based on the uh, delay over here, the duty cycle will be accordingly set. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.